Hey cuties, Peachy here, welcome back to a new video and in this video we have to talk about these new Disney 100 celebration Mattel collector dolls because they are certainly causing quite the controversy so let's get into it. So first up let's get into this brand new 8-pack that's gonna include a uh, Alice, Tinkerbell, Elsa, Anna, Moana, Pocahontas, Jasmine, and Snow White. Also, they're going to include, you know, little pet friends for some of these characters. Uh, it's going to retail for around 125 US dollars and it's going to be releasing sometime in September. Now, this is a collector 8-pack. Mind you, this is not Playline, it's collector. And I mean, that price point really just confirms that because it's way too expensive. Uh, you're basically it basically comes out to um paying about 15 bucks for each doll um and that costs altogether 15 times eight uh, about 125 so really um really expensive especially when you look at the fact that um they don't have articulation and the outfits that they are wearing while they are fully you know like fabric right um they're cheap um, and they look very simple. Uh, I get it. It's an eight pack and uh, for like packs with multiple dolls Obviously, you're gonna have to divide and you know, like Decide like the budget and where it's gonna go into right and like how much detail they can really add to all the outfits for every doll So I get it, but then not then don't make this like a collector thing Don't make it a collector set, you know, like this could just be a playline eight pack. It could cost a hundred um Because I think that's more reasonable than 125 like they really had to go above 100 uh and then it would perhaps be more like uh accepted like i don't know because this is just really it's bad i mean look at the outfits like they're again they're fabric but they're so simple um and you know right away like they're going to be made out of that simple like fabric paper like material um it's just going to be very cheap feeling um and again no articulation no articulation aside for the five basic points there's no wrist no elbow no, no knee like nothing like even the tinkerbell collector doll that released on amazon she has a lot of articulation um and she's 50 and as we'll get to the other 50 collector dolls not even those can keep up with the same type of articulation so it's just so um it doesn't make sense like i don't know why they can't like equally give all the dolls like the same things like this is it's so bad <laughs> but i mean so they look okay like tinkerbell's here as well she's like obviously much more of a budget version of the collector Tinker tinkerbell doll that we've seen again like on amazon um the dress is so simple it's so bad i don't like it <laughs> the they did give her a ribbon and the hair the bun that's cute the wings are different that's okay um she's holding like a little purse and her shoes look really interesting but they're again just like one they're just like not even colored at all um elsa anna they look okay like the fabric cape for anna looks cool at least like maybe that's a different fabric uh moana looks so simple like she she, there's nothing to look at with her um alice like no stockings that's painted on you know onto her legs like that's not fabric that's just painted white you know her legs to make it look like stockings um pocahontas you know she has the dress is cute at least like and she does have her you know tattoo on her arm which i don't think the uh, budget version of mo pocahontas has that so th that's cool that they give it to her here uh jasmine you know that the outfit is so it's so generic you know for jasmine snow white at least you know she has the cape that's cute but like really all in all um they're really not worth the price like these are playline at the very least these are not collector but it's so astounding um that mattel has the audacity to to brand this a pack as a collector status and 125 
and this is what you're getting so <laughs> next up we have a better picture of the new three pack of these disney villains uh, dolls that includes yzma the evil queen and cruella uh, these are going to retail for 60 us dollars this is a, uh, again it's a pack so they're going to come together 60 um and uh they're going to re again release sometime september so similarly to what we just saw with the eight pack um these are also collector status these are not playline uh and as you can see these also have the same uh you know level of articulation just the basic five points um and in some cases the arms are even like molded into a you know stationary position like they're not going to move like they just have their hands on their hips and that's like how they're going to look like forever so um it's definitely giving like barbie um model muse vibes where they also were you know molded like the, the posed they were mold like the hands and arms and legs they were posed in a certain way and you cannot you know pose them differently so it's kind of giving that similar vibe but with these at least these are characters that we usually don't get to see and these are very accurately you know executed on their dolls like it's especially yzma like i can totally see people getting this pack just for her because i mean the the new body mold the 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 head mold like it definitely looks amazing um but it's just not worth the price and it's just not collector this is playline i mean just like just look at it it's like speaks for itself and <laughs> lastly we do have our first look now at the new um celebration again these are these are all collector dolls but these are apparently like platinum uh, collector dolls of tiana and cinderella so first up let's get into cinderella so um she's gonna cost uh again 50 us dollars and she's gonna release sometime also i'm gonna say august september like all the other dolls we just saw i think they're gonna have a very similar release uh strategy um and um yeah here she is she she looks i mean listen like i'm gonna say her face looks amazing the mug it is beat like you know she has a very well done face up it's it's gorgeous um question is will it look that good in real life but i think the face is great it looks amazing um the hair is is accurate um and then everything else um is not great because the dress the dress is pretty like if you look at it really quickly you're like oh my gosh it's like such a pretty dress but like once you actually look at the dress you're like oh wow <laughs> that is not $50 that is that is all that is all cheap uh because you can clearly tell once again that the fabric that they're using here is that typical very cheap paper feeling like fabric that they always use um and and then look at the silhouette the actual design the actual gown and this is so ironic because for both Cinderella and Tiana both of their gowns they reach the floor their floor length gowns they covered the feet for sure like they're full-on gowns like they're long they're big um and while these gowns seem to achieve the volume and you know like the poofiness of the gown they do not reach the floor like they do not even cover the feet which to me is so bad like why it's such a simple fix they could have just like added another couple centimeters of you know fabric to the you know base layer of the dress you know like the first layer the opaque one that cover and then you could cover the feet and that will look so much better because now this looks so wrong at least to me like it's 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 bothering me like it actually i don't like it i hate it like i don't love it it's so bad <laughs> Like, I hate that you can see the feet. Like, it's so bad. Like, why? Why, Mattel? It's such an easy fix. Again, just add some more fabric and voila, at least you don't see the feet anymore. And then at least I would be like, okay, fine. At least <laughs> the, the silhouette, the, the length is correct, but it's not. So I can't even justify the actual design because uh, everything else even with the actual design of the dress like cinderella's iconic dress has those poofy things to the sides um and here they try to do that with these like um big uh again the same paper like fabric but they're kind of like um 
like looped you know like they're kind of like looking like a bow or something like it looks so weird like i get what they're trying to go for here um but then you also have these two singular panels like right below them the poofs um and like what are those doing there like that looks so random like what is happening here i just they have so many questions about the construction and about the design of the dress like i just I don't love it it's so inaccurate and it's just i mean i get that they're trying to go for like a very deconstructed perhaps look of the gown and it's like a celebratory design it's like elevated maybe in a sense but like i don't like it i don't like it because this is not cinderella this is not the design of the dress that i that i grew up loving you know like this is not it it's just so I don't know. It's just not very well executed. Maybe not very well realized. Maybe they had like a really good design. Uh, but here it just looks really bad. Um, and then of course to make it look like she's worth more than she actually is. They even added a, they added a silver belt or like silver piece, plastic piece around her waist. To really give off that magic capitalist vibe, you know? <laughs> like yay silver silver accent accessories yay <laughs> does she seem like 50 bucks yet no <laughs> um i mean it, it's a cute piece but like what is it doing there like it looks so random and in the poofy sleeves at least like okay fine um but she's missing of course she's missing her choker and her her gloves but of course i mean that's to be expected at this point so um overall i think cinderella she's she does the face is great like and and if she goes down in price uh yes definitely like just get her for the face because the face is gorgeous but like the actual dress is just such a mess to me i just don't love it moving on to tiana um tiana has a very similar problem where the design seems to be very seems to be inspired by her iconic dress with like the leaf panels on the front only going like they're only going down the f middle of her dress they're not like actually covering her whole gown which is how it's actually how it actually looks like in the movie um like the leaf panels are correct like they're they're there and they're supposed to be there but they're supposed to be also around her whole gown like they're supposed to be covering like her gown like there's not just supposed to be like a couple of leaf panels like on the front like no like if you've seen the movie you know that dress you know that they're supposed to be like like a panel on one side and then the other panel is covering the other side and the rest of the gown but here again they're i think they're just trying to go for more of a deconstructed like elevated look which makes sense i guess for like the celebration of disney 100 but it just ends up looking kind of weird here because there's like a really because I, I, I do like the panels that they do have in the front but then the rest of the dress is just so simple and like it's just it really is missing those other leaf panels that should have been there um and once again you can clearly tell that um the dress is just so cheap it's just a paper fabric you know it's just gonna feel so cheap um and i honestly don't know how they're achieving this volume because the fab like I, I guarantee you there's no petticoat underneath so like i feel like this is also an illusion like that dress is not actually gonna look like this and it's not it's not actually gonna look like this in real life so <laughs> you know like just be warned um and then the she does have like two layers underneath a sheer one and then we have an opaque one with some more uh l like leaf panels shaped at the bottom which is cute but like like i think i prefer tiana here more than cinderella but still i don't like how inaccurate the design is and then once again it's not covering her feet so it just looks very weird uh it's just like really awkward like right below like right before her feet you can see that like like the dress just cuts off right before her feet it's just such a awkward um way to finish off the dress like it just doesn't make sense to me uh but the face looks very gorgeous like i do love the face for tiana like she again like if you're gonna get her just for the face definitely worth it um just wait for the try wait for the price to drop because this isn't she's not worth the 50 like she's like if you wait um yes she'll be worth it because the face is really gorgeous and i think you could fix the dress like if you were to do some customization of your own like the this dress could be really great um 
but overall uh it's just not great also i forgot to mention but yeah no gloves here and um there was no articulation so yes no articulation just a basic five points um which again is just so weird because tinkerbell she's 50 she, she has articulation um so why cannot they give the same treatment to these two dolls and the dolls in the eight pack i just i'm so confused um and um what else oh yeah they do have stands which is great at least they have stands um but yeah that's really like i would have rather had like articulation than the stands like i yeah i kind of yeah we're also <laughs> supposed to get a mulan um doll that's also going to be priced at 50 us dollars but apparently she's not going to be part of this you know platinum collector line like the other two tiana and cinderella dolls are so interesting same price point um but not the same platinum level so i hope she look good um but yeah judging by how cinderella and tiana turned out um, I don't have high hopes. I think overall, the faces are a win. They look amazing. Um, the dresses are cheap looking. They probably, f I, I can just already tell like how they're gonna feel. So just, just by that alone, like you can tell like it's just not great. Like the material, the fabric, the quality is cheap. It just is. Um, and then the actual design of the dresses is also like not, like I don't love it. The silver pieces like are so random. Um, and then of course the lack of articulation and the price point. Um, I don't know. I just, there's so much wrong with these two. I just don't get it. And again, the faces are so pretty, like it really is a shame. Um, but I guess, you know, if people wait, then, you know, yes, they, they will be worth it. Just, I think if they were cheaper, you know, yes, I think you can argue that they're worth it. But like at 50 US dollars, like, nope, <laughs> I would, I would maybe pay 20, you know, for, for them, but um, not 50 uh, because they're not collector dolls. They're really not. I mean, the only thing that screams collector here is the fact that they come with a stand like that's the only thing like the everything else about them screams playline it screams cheap you know it's just pff, i and i don't want to and i wish i could be positive like i don't want to hate on them like i really don't like i had high hopes um but overall like i just can't lie to you and be like yes they're amazing they're perfect and they're totally worth it like no um they're not worth it they're too expensive and they don't look amazing please don't hate me that's just my opinion if you love them then i'm happy for you but let me know what you think of these new collector dolls down below uh yeah i hope y'all enjoyed leave a like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell and become a member today so you don't miss out when i post more content like this coming your way daily and keeping you up to date with all the doll tea you love stay safe be kind i hope this next time stay peachy kisses